You might ask yourself, how much oil does one of these big girls take? Stick around in this video and you'll find out. Preventative maintenance, guys. One of the biggest things that keep you out here on the road. Keep your uh, loads moving, your truck moving, and your on-time schedule on time. We are blessed to get here when there's not too many other trucks here, but typically there are a good amount. This is Lube Zone, guys. A company based out of Texas that uh, has luckily one location out here on exit 160. And, um, oops, sorry, I'm missing gears. <laughs> Then go this way a little bit. There you go. But yeah, these guys are awesome. Go ahead and ride a little bit. Keep it straight. Good to go. Okay. Get her in here. Get her worked on, guys. Okay, so what do we got first, man? We got to get our, our mileage? Yes, sir. All right. Let me turn that on for you. And they are raising the hood. Let's go. Mileage is taken care of. We're going to do the uh, water separator right here. Do the main filter. We're going to use all fleet guard and we're going to go ahead and use the T5 guys to show or tell it today. All right, but in and out guys, the, the point of it is getting fast, thorough. We already did our pumpkins last time. What do we got for names, guys? Uh, I'm Nate. Nate? Andrew. Andrew? That's a good name, man. My, my middle name's Andrew, buddy. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for taking care of the old girl. All right, let's get her going. Okay, the old filter is down. She is dirty. She needs to be redone. All right, we're looking good in here. Had my pumpkins done last time, Nate. They took care of them, got them all done with some synthetic. Oh, so yeah? they should be good to go. Nice, nice. But we're going in with some gallons. If you wondered about how many gallons these trucks take, guys, it's not quartz like a regular car. This is 11 gallons, guys, which is about 44 quarts, guys. We're gonna drain out our water separator right here. So, because mine mounts upside down, my old truck mounted on the top side. So at least this one mounts upside down. The other one was a mess whenever you took it off. And we'll go ahead and get a new 58, 25 NN main fuel filter. And we get a nice progress report right here, guys, on our transmission, front and rear pumpkins. They're all looking great from the last time we were at Lube Zone, getting those done. So, and they're all topped off to a nice full amount. Okay. Get that thing capped off, put some new oil in there. She's almost there. She's halfway to 44, almost. And if you have a filter of any kind on your truck, they probably have it. Plus all the oils you could possibly want, whatever you run, whether it be Shell or Tella or another brand, but yeah, filters for days, guys. Both sides, Caterpillar, OEMs, all the fleet guards, all the bald ones, whatever you need, and all the different oils on tap. Appreciate it. Yeah. Nicely done, but they're nice and full and looking good, huh? Absolutely. Yes, I love it. And of course, anything they see out of the ordinary, guys, they're going to point it out to you, let you know what's going on, but we're looking pretty dang good. All right. Plug is torqued down, too. Absolutely, yeah. Looking Transmission good. and the uh, engine oil, man. Awesome. Thank you very much, Nate. No problem. Keep me going, man. Of course, in oil and lube, you get oil and lube. So we're doing the fifth wheel. We'll get all the spots we can possibly get. Oh yeah, I'm write my name in there. I'm so good. <laughs> Little LZ, lube zone. <laughs> Here we go, hold on. There you go. Hey, LZ, there we go, lube zone. Well, I went the wrong way. There you go. <laughs> Moving up the box, everything else around there, and then these Kenworths have this cool little like lube station down here, right down there. Oh yeah. We can get them all in different Absolutely. remote places. And that filter he's putting back on right there, guys, Andrew is, 
That is the one that's giving us that feedback on the gauge inside, telling us that we uh, have some high feedback pressure. So that's what the one you need to change if you're ever having that problem. Just bad fuel these days, guys. Some of these stations you get to, like I said, if it's low on fuel, if they just refilled the tanks and stirred up all that stuff inside of them, you might have some uh, some gunk getting in there, some algae. So keep track of that. Here's your oil level. Okay, she is full. Thank you, Andrew. You're welcome. All right, we'll start priming it. Get that key turned and get the fuel going back into that filter. Okay. So every time when you see me turn that key and wait a bit to start it, it's because you're letting that fuel prime in there. You can hear it working. It's pumping it up into there and just getting everything checked through. We got it greased up, guys, and we got a nice, clean, new water separator. Awesome. Thank you, Lube Zone. Just like that, guys. Good old W9's back in business. Appreciate it, Andrew. Appreciate it, Nate. You too, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lube Zone. Appreciate you. Woo, she started good. And look at that fuel filter. Yeah, that's where you want to be. Okay, let's get out of here. Thank you, Lube Zone, for always taking care of me. Keep me lubed up, keep me on the road. Uh, just awesome people. Let's go say bye to Lisa, Nate, and Andrew.
but we're ready to go for another, what, 15,000 miles. Okay, Lisa, what's the damage? What do I owe you? But that is a wrap on a PM. We're 788,000 miles. These trucks do take 11 gallons, guys. 52 quarts is what mine actually took. So it wasn't 44s at the baseline. Mine takes a little bit more, plus you had to fill the filter. Um, we got new fuel filters. We're back at zero on the gauge, which is awesome. And she was saying a lot of guys are coming in here complaining like, yeah, their fuel's getting gunked up. So um, yeah, just be careful where you fill up that, but it's, it's everywhere, you know? Um, 15,000 miles is pretty much the conventional oil interval. That's how long you're gonna go before you get another one. If you're synthetic, you can push that a little bit. Um, just it depends on how hard you run and where you're running, that kind of stuff. But um, we're just blessed and grateful to be working with Lube Zone. The truck's back in tip top, lubed up shape. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap for PM for today. Got some new Chevrotel in there. And uh, let's get back to working. All right, God bless you guys. And that's what PMs are like for big trucks. We'll see you on the next one.